What is World Trade Organization or WTO? History, Purpose, Role, Benefits and Limitations by Alessandra Nicole Cabato. Let's start with introduction. World Trade Organization is the only global international organization dealing with the rules of trade between nations. At its heart are the WTO agreements negotiated and signed by the bulk of the world's trading nations and ratified their parliaments. History of the World Trade Organization From the early days of the Silk Road to the creation of the General Agreements on Tariffs and Trade, GATT, and the birth of WTO, trade has played an important role in the supporting economic development and promoting peaceful relations among nations. The Early Days of Trade Trade and foreign policy have been intertwined throughout history, with foreign policy often tailored to promote trade interests. In the 3rd century BC, during the Han Dynasty, China used its military power to maintain the Silk Road for its value for trade. In the year 30 BC, Rome conquered Egypt in large part to have a better supply of grain. Birth of the WTO the WTO's creation on the 1st of January 1995 marked the biggest reform of international trade since the end of the Second World War. Whereas the GATT mainly dealt with trade in goods, the WTO and its agreements also covers trade in services and intellectual property. The birth of the WTO also created new procedures for the settlement of disputes. Major Achievements over the past 20 years, WTO members have agreed major updates to the WTO rulebook to improve the flow of global trade. The WTO's membership has expanded to 164 members, representing over 98% of international trade. In 2015, the WTO reached a significant milestone with the receipt of its 500 trade dispute for settlements. Purpose WTO is responsible for administering WTO trade agreements, monitoring members' trade policies, providing forum for trade negotiations, handling trade disputes, providing technical assistance and training to developing and least developed economies, and cooperating with international organizations. Let's go with the role of WTO in the global economy. When the world economy is in turmoil, the multilateral trading system can contribute to stability. Some would argue that this can even contribute to international peace. History is littered with examples of trade disputes escalating into armed conflict. It's a claim that should not be exaggerated, but there is truth in it. If we understand why, we have a clearer picture of what the system actually does. Benefits of WTO Membership Most favored nation treatment, which means equal access for all companies of all WTO members to the markets of all members of the organization, national treatment that prohibits national producers from gaining advantages over importers, reduction of trade barriers, primarily tariffs and quantitative restrictions, which provides for increased trade between members, predictability and transparency of international trade, WTO members have bounded tariffs and cannot, except for good reason, introduce other import restrictions such as bans or quotas. Increased competitiveness by eliminating unfair practices between trading partners aimed at stimulating trade, primarily export subsidies and dumping. Opportunity to defend trade interests at the WTO dispute settlement body, since all members will have international commitments towards Belarus for non-application of trade restrictions. Limitations. Free trade benefits developed countries more than developing countries. Most favored nation principle. Failure to reduce tariffs on agriculture, diversification, environment, free trade ignores cultural and social factors. The WTO is criticized for being undemocratic. Slow progress. And that would be all for this video. If you want to know more about World Trade Organization, kindly visit the links below. Thank you for watching.